Hello everybody and welcome to Pricing 144 Cam Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, people are always wanting to know how to maintain their Lourdes Hydro Fix Premium. A lot of people have messaged me about that. This video, and, and of course I always tell you guys I'm not giving you medical advice or making any medical claims. I'm just letting you know today the videos that I've made so that way you know actually which video to watch because apparently people are confused by all this. So this is what I'm going to show you today. Video 67, I'm going to put links to all of these in the comment area, not the description area, the comment area. Maybe I'll try to put it in the description also, but it, just look in the comment area for every one. 67 is the first video. 67 just shows you how to wash the pitcher. <clears throat> in my opinion, you should probably be washing it. The Japanese say to wash it every day, but they're like completely obsessed with being super clean and perfect. I'd probably wash mine every two to three days. So that's going to be video 67. And that's right there. And then video number 70 is right here. Now this one shows you how to do a citric acid cleaning, which is very important to maintain the proper levels of hydrogen. So you're definitely going to want to do something like that. You can look at the owner's manual. You can do it about once a month. It really depends on the quality of your water, but either way, it's a good thing to stay up on. The next one is video. Let me see here. I think it's 142. There it is, 142. Now, 142 is different because 142 is how to do like an extremely deep cleaning if you just have a ton of buildup. You don't really have to watch that video. You could go with video number 70. The only difference on video number 70 is remember that it doesn't show the correct amount of citric acid because the company told us one thing and then later on, you know, they realized the quality of water in America and they changed the number. And the update should be in the comment and description area. So look for the updated amount of citric acid. But on video number 70, it really shows you how to do it properly, which is really, really important. Then video, let's see, 177. I don't know if it's here. Nope. Is it on this one? Um, no. Okay. So let's go over here and video 177. Let's find it real quick. Is going to be for, nope, I went the wrong way, of course. Sorry, guys. And by the way, I'm sorry about the quality. I don't know how to edit videos or anything. So I just kind of point the camera at the uh, screen here. Okay, 177. 177 is actually how to pack your Lourdes Hydrofix. But <clears throat> packing it, you can actually see how you're supposed to empty it properly. And you could even clean the base of it. But that's an important one. People are always asking for that also. This is kind of everything you need to know about the Lourdes Hydrofix or what I figured out throughout the years. Video 231. Video 231 really shows you little intricacies on how to take care of the unit so that it will last a super long time. As far as I've seen, it's actually the most reliable hydrogen machine I've ever seen on the market because most of them have issues. And as long as you know how to take care of it properly, kind of like a car, just figuring out how to maintain a car properly, and that makes a huge difference. So that's video 231. I highly recommend watching that one because there's a lot of little do's and don'ts, and it's important to, to watch that, and that way you don't mess up your machine potentially in the future. Okay, the other one, 316, uh, here we go. Um, 316, actually, that's not right. It's Oh, there it is, 316. That shows you literally how to set up the machine from complete start to finish from the moment I unbox it. It couldn't be easier, guys. I literally walked you through the moment I opened up my brand new one. So that's really, really helpful in my opinion. That's what I would want to watch as a viewer um, when I'm first getting the machine. The next one would be 336 right here. And this 336 is how, or I'm sorry, yeah, 336, how to know when your filter is due. And actually, that kind of brings me to this other one that I forgot to actually mention. Let's see if we can actually go back to it. 197. 197 is actually how to change the filter. Or if your filter is ever clogged up, I show a technique to unclog it if it ever happens. Another really important one to watch. And then the last one would be video 333 right here, which really shows you how to know when your Hydrofix needs water. That one's pretty basic, pretty easy. And the filter one, 197, I forgot to mention, it also shows you how to reset the light for the filter. But 333 shows you again when it needs water. And that's it, guys. Those are all the videos. I mean, I already have all the videos on how to take care of your hydro fix. So if you're wondering which one's which and you don't know what to look for, hopefully this video helped. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff, share. Because not only do I think it really helps the algorithm, but it really helps people a lot, especially people with, you know, who have the hydro fix and they're trying to figure out how to maintain it and how to take care of it. So thanks again for the support. And comment below too. Let me know if this was actually helpful. 
Let me know if you're like, oh my gosh, this was a lifesaver. It showed me all the videos. I've had questions about this forever. And it helps the algorithm if you guys comment too. And then it just helps me understand what it is uh, that you guys really need in regards to videos. And I can try to make more for you guys. Okay, so thanks again for watching. Thanks again for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.